Today's recital presented from the Pianoforte Studios at 1335 South Michigan Avenue. We have music for cello and piano this afternoon as performed by the duo known as the Ian and Ani duo. Ian Moxon, cellist and pianist Ani Gogova, for the most part, a program of music from the 20th century, but we're going to hear a piece as well by our cellist this afternoon, Ian Moxon. The program will open with a piece by Rodion Chadrin in the style of Albanith. We'll continue with the piece in the form of an abanera by Maurice Ravel. Following that, variations on a Russian theme, also known as It's Not the Wind by Ian Maxine, our cellist today. That will be followed by the Three Fantastic Dances by Dmitry Shostakovich. After that, the fairy tale in A minor by Nikolai Metner. The first movement of the sonata for cello and piano in C major by Sergei Prokofiev. And the program will conclude with the Pompeiana No. 2 by Alberto Ginastera. Please welcome the Ian and Ani duo, Ian Maxine Cello and pianist Ani Gogova. The program begins with Rorian Shishadrin's In the Style of Albanith. <laughs> In the Style of Albany by Rodion Shadrin. The Ian and Ani duo are performers this afternoon, Ian Maxine Cello and pianist Ani Gogova. 
Our next piece is by Maurice Ravel. It's entitled Peace in the Form of an Abanera. Once again, the Ian and Ani duo. Music of Maurice Ravel, Peace in the Form of an Abanera, performed by the Ian and Ani duo, Ian Maxim Cello and Ani Gogova Piano. Our guest artists this afternoon, coming to you live from the Piano Forte Foundation, this month's Piano Forte Salon Series Live. And we're very happy to welcome both of these uh, good artists with us this afternoon, Ani Gogova Piano and Ian Maxim Cello. Welcome. Thank Great you. To have Thank you. Great to be here. here. Thank you. Um, you've been playing as a duo for a while. Uh, how did you get together, and how did you uh, manage to formulate a duo? Well, Chicago is a small town, musically speaking. Every, all, uh, most of musicians know either it, each other in person or uh, know of each other's existence. So that's that was our case. We knew about each other's existence. It was just a matter of time before we met um, in person. Ani came to one of my uh, solo concerts and we started talking and uh, uh, we decided to get together and uh, read some music jam. or jam <laughs> 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 well, in, in, in jazz and other kinds of music that we call jam, sure, but the classical sure. musicians, they get together and they read. <laughs> um, so so it's we the read, same thing. <laughs> right, it's it's basically yeah. it's the same thing. So uh, we did read. <laughs> And uh, it, it went so well that we, we decided that we are going to do some things together and it just took off right from the beginning and we, we've been playing very actively for three years now. Pretty much to the point that it took over our uh, musical lives. Uh, so we both had these uh, solo uh, projects that we had to put on the back burner, the CDs, that we finally, three years later, we decided we have to get, get back to it and, f and, and finish. That's yeah, right. So that's what yes, we actually uh, released the CD together first, and then uh, this last season we uh, recorded our respective solo CDs that were just released this, this fall. So today is a 
great uh, opportunity to present to you some music from all the three CDs, the two solo CDs and the CD of the duo. A combination of a little bit of everything from yes. each one of those releases. Yes. We're going to hear next, Ian, a composition of yours called It's Not the Wind, Variations on a Russian Theme. And the title is rather intriguing. Tell us about it. Okay, um, this um, uh, composition is based on a folk song from Russia where I grew up and my mother actually used to sing this to me as, um, as a lullaby, even though it's not technically a lullaby, but it, it could be. Um, the lyrics are actually not very lullaby-like, but the melody is. So uh, the lyrics go something like, um, it's not the wind that's um, howling, it's my heart that's uh, panting um, and um, uh, from basically from, uh, be from being in love. Being in love. Yeah, Passion. from being in love. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, a couple of years ago, I got approached by a, a festival of uh, world music in, in France, and um, uh, they asked me to write a piece. And so um, it, it wasn't exactly a classical, um, for a classical audience or with that in mind. So I decided to um, take this folk song and take it, uh, write a set of variations that would take it around the world. So each variation goes to a different place. It goes to the Middle East, um, Turkey, Armenia, um, Balkans, um, Romania, um, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not gonna uh, go through the whole list. You, uh, you could um, hear for yourself and recognize probably some things. And it uh, sort of ends with an and, and, and the blues or, or some, something rocky mm -hmm. um, at the end. So it uh, pretty much takes it across different uh, countries and genres. Things. So that was the idea behind it. When did you first perform this? I performed it um, in, in, in France, and also I've, I've been performing it uh, for different audiences around the world, both um, for classical concerts and for... Uh, and otherwise, I also play a lot of um, collaborations with um, jazz artists and um, rock musicians, flamenco. So I would throw in that piece uh, for, for those performances as well, and it's been quite well received. Well, so we're, we're certainly looking forward to hearing it. And before I forget, we must acknowledge that we are really happy to see some guests here, fourth through eighth graders from the Revis Elementary School here in Chicago. Great to have you with us today. <laughs> They were treated to a little concert uh, in the 11 o'clock hour prior to our broadcast uh, with Ian and Ani. So it's great to have you all with us today. Once again, please welcome Ian Maxin cello and pianist Ani Gogova to perform now Ian's own composition, It's Not the Wind, Variations on a Russian Theme. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
It's Not the Wind. Variations on a Russian theme by Ian Moxin. And it was performed by the composer, Ian Moxin, cello. Ian is part of our duo this afternoon, coming to you live from the Piano Forte Foundation, the Ian and Ani duo. Ani Gagova is the pianist. And she is also going to perform for a solo uh, next uh, piece, The Three Fantastic Dances by Dmitry Shostakovich. Pianist Ani Gogova performing the three fantastic dances of Dmitry Shostakovich. Ani Gogova and Ian Moxine, the duo that we're listening to live from the Piano Forte Foundation at 1335 South Michigan on 98.7 WFMT and WFMT.com. I'm David Schwan, your host for these broadcasts. We have next more Russian music by Nikolai Metner who uh, was born in Russia and died in London in 1951. This now is his fairy tale in A minor. Once again, pianist Ani Gogova.
The Fairy Tale in A Minor by Nikolai Metner is performed by pianist Ani Gogova. Ani Gogova and cellist Ian Moxin, our guests this afternoon, coming to you live from the Piano Forte Foundation on South Michigan Avenue in Chicago. We have next music by Sergei Prokofiev, the first movement, the Andante, of the Sonata for Cello and Piano in C Major, Opus 119. Here once again, cellist Ian Maxin and pianist Ani Gogova.
The first movement of the Sonata for Cello and Piano in C Major, Opus 119 by Prokofiev, the Andante. This, uh, pi- the duo that we're hearing this afternoon, Ian and Ani duo, Ani Gogova Piano and Ian Moxon, will perform the entire sonata Sunday afternoon here at Piano Forte at 3 o'clock. Ani Gogova joins us uh, for a little bit of conversation once again, along with uh, Ian Moxon. Wonderful program this afternoon. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you. Uh, might be a good time also to talk now about your respective uh, recordings. Uh, we got we talked about that uh, a moment ago, but uh, as you mentioned, you each have your own releases, and you also have a release uh, with the two of you together called Tango Plus. That's right. Actually, the pieces that you heard uh, us play solo are from the solo albums, uh, Ian's uh, Soul Companion, uh, that uh, is for solo cello, and my fantasy is Fairy Tales and Nightmares, that includes classical pieces in those genres. Mm -hmm. Uh, Both of those uh, solo CDs have something in common. They were both produced by uh, a really fantastic um, engineer. Uh, my, uh, my best friend uh, mm-hmm. that I've known ever since I've been in the States. Uh, he also recorded and engineered our first album together, Tango Plus, and uh, his work is absolutely fantastic. His name is Sergei Kvitko uh, with uh, Blue Griffin Recordings. So he produced both, C- both CDs and they just got released this fall. Now you have a recent release as well. I like the title, Fantasies, Fairy Tales, and Nightmares. Right. You've got music of Beethoven, Schumann, Brahms, but also Ligeti and Prokofiev. Right, uh, that's nice the nightmarish A lot of things in there, yes. <laughs> yes, it's a great program. Starts with a Beethoven Moonlight Sonata, Quasi Una Fantasia. It's like a fantasy and goes through uh, romantic pieces by Schumann and uh, Brahms uh, fantasy pieces, uh, the fairy tales of Metner, the Fantastic Dances of Shostakovich, and Prokofiev's um, Diabolic Suggestion and Musica Ricercata by Ligeti. It's a great, great compilation, I think. You also received a very nice review here, oh, uh, yes. talking about your poetic expression and uh, singling out the uh, second movement, saying that uh, your uh, nuances and coloring the chords uh, was especially That's attractive. about Beethoven, yeah. They yeah. said a lot of really great things about each one of the pieces uh, in my performances. Mm-hmm. Your uh, CD, Solo Flight, Ian, includes music of Bach, also Eric E. That That's uh, my old yeah. CD, right. That's yeah. the one that uh, came out a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I have a, um, a brand new one um, that's titled uh, Soul Companion that just came out, and it's all my original music as well as uh, commissions from several award-winning composers, including two from Chicago, Ilya Levinson of Columbia College and Seth Bustad. Sure. Um, as well as um, uh, New York-based co- uh, Korean-American composer Paul Yon Lee. And the CD ends with my own um, arrangement for solo cello of uh, Sting's Fields of Gold. It's actually a very, it, it's a very free arrangement. It sort of uh, takes you to a completely different place. You've mm-hmm. collaborated with uh, an incredible variety of people. You mentioned Sting, but Gloria Estefan, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> so you you have no limits or no boundaries as to I where you want to I try to break uh, yeah. break those boundaries as much as possible and um, use the cello as a common denominator. The 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 beauty of the sound of the cello is the what brings all those things together and um, breaks them and molds them in a new way. And you mentioned Seth Bosted, who's also the host of our program on WFMT, Relevant Tones. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You, we have one more piece mm-hmm. this afternoon, the uh, Pompeiana Number no. 2 by Alberto Ginastera. Now, is this going to be also on your recital here Sunday afternoon? I believe so. Yeah, I think and we're it's, playing uh, it. The cl- 
our Tango Plus CD. So it's a, a really exciting piece, and I think we are going to include it yeah, on Sunday we'll as well. It. Yes, yeah. Sunday Sunday concert is going to be here at the Piano Forte Foundation at three o'clock in the afternoon, it's a matinee, and uh, celebrates the three CDs that uh, we have out. It's been great to have you here this afternoon. Once again, a hand Thank for you. the Ian and Ani duo, pianist Ani Gogova and cellist Ian Moxon. Our final work on the program this afternoon from the Piano Forte Foundation, the Pampayana No. 2 by Alberto Ginastera.
Bayana number two by Alberto Finastera. As performed by the Ian and Ani duo, Ani Gogova, piano, and Ian Maxim, cello. Ani Gogova is a native of Bulgaria. She's toured not only in her homeland, but also in Italy, Serbia, England, Macedonia, Romania, and of course the United States. She was also the youngest professor to join the faculty at the Music Conservatory at the Chicago College of Performing Arts at Roosevelt University. Cellist Ian Moxon began studying cello at the age of six at the Special School for Gifted Children of the Rimsky-Korsakov Conservatory in his Russia, uh, native Russia. He came to the United States to study at the Manhattan School of Music in New York at the age of 17. Ian and Ani, the name of the duo this afternoon, our program from the Pianoforte Salon Series. Piano Forte Foundation acknowledges members Jenny Wojcik and Sebastian Houts for their support. And if you would like to become a member and support programs such as this, visit pianofortefoundation.org. November 13th, the Piano Forte Foundation will present the extraordinary piano duo, the Mach Sisters. Tickets are available online. Once again, the website, pianofortefoundation.org. These Piano Forte Salon Series broadcasts are... Uh, uh, graciously brought to you with support from the American Chartered Bank. We hope you'd enjoyed today's uh, broadcast from the Piano Forte Salon Series, the recital presented on WFMT from the Piano Forte Studios at 1335 South Michigan Avenue. Please join us once again Friday, December 5th, when we'll have another Piano Forte Salon Series recital and again, for details about the season schedule and all the activities here, go to pianofortefoundation.org. Our engineer is Mary Mazurik. She had assistance today with Victor Lejeune. And this is David Schwan, your host for these broadcasts. Thank you very much for joining us.